Vice fishing, there's not a lot of angling this time of the year on Montana's icy rivers and lakes, but this is when state fisheries biologists work as hard as ever, processing all the samples and data they collected over the past year. Winston Greeley has more on this weekend's outdoor report. During the winter, you will find most fish crews not on a lake or river, but holed up in a dark room over a microscope. For all those anglers out there, these are, these are kind of the behind the scenes um, surveys and studies that we do that don't get a lot of attention but help us draw a lot of conclusions about making the fishery into the best possible fishery for the angler. Fish crews across the state conduct a variety of wintertime surveys from diet analysis to aging fish in order to better understand a fishery's overall picture. By now we have some idea of what went on this past summer um, but now we're able to truly get a great cross-section as to everything that's happening, whether it be starting at the bottom of the food chain with zooplankton all the way to the top of the food chain with predator growth rates and aging. Biologists can age fish by their scales and spines, but the go-to aging structure is an ear bone called the otolith. Now the rings will tell us, just like on a tree, how old that particular fish is. We're also going to see what's out there in our population. You know, is it comprised of older fish, younger fish, or a bunch of fish in between? And while the work can seem monotonous, it is really a culmination of all the time spent on the water that make this winter work important in managing Montana's fisheries. It's nice to get it summarized and see, make heads or tails of what's really going on out there. You know, that's, that's the cool thing about it. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.